what's going on? It's that time again, What's in the Box Wednesday. I'm gonna share what books I have in this box. I picked out a few that I personally wanna read or I know someone that wants to read it or I wanna just give it away on the New Life, New Dreams Facebook page. If you haven't entered those book giveaways, go ahead and click the link in the description below to do that. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Hey, what's up my friend? I just want to say I greatly appreciate you being here. If you've read any of these books, give me your thoughts if you have. Or if you want to read these, let me know in the comments below. Let's jump into it. First one is Transformation. This is Transformation by Robert A. Johnson. The next one is, I've seen this quite a few times. I might have a few copies of this, but I went ahead and picked it up because if anything, I could sell it on Amazon or most importantly, pay it forward. Uh, so Jesus CEO, using ancient wisdom for visionary leadership, dancing the dream. That sounds interesting. The Seven Sacred Paths of Human Transformation by Jamie Sams. Wherever You Go, There You Are. Selling the Dream by Guy Kawasaki. I've never read any of his books, but I've came across two now uh, here recently, so I'm looking forward to reading those. I've heard a lot of good things about Guy, so uh, looking forward to digging into that. We got another Deepak Chopra, Spontaneous Fulfillment of Desire. I think I have a few copies of this, so most likely this is going in a book giveaway. Opening the Mind's Eye, looking forward to reading this. I hadn't heard anything about it, it just sounds interesting. How images and language teach us how to see. We got Ageless Body, Timeless Mind. This is Deepak Chopra, A Quantum Alternative to Growing Old. This was the first book I read of Deepak and it really, you know, pretty much opened my mind to his thinking, his his uh, knowledge and wisdom. And But I started, you know, reading all of Deepak's books after that because it was really eye-opening. So, uh, great book to read. Walking Wisdom, Three Generations, Two Dogs in the Search for a Happy Life. This is Gotham Chopra with Deepak Chopra. We got Fractal Time by Greg Braden. He's the author of Divine Matrix. I have a copy of that, which was actually, there was a book recommended in that that turned me on to another author that turned me on to another author. So it's crazy how books can lead you to other authors. So John C. Maxwell, Winning with People, Chaos, Making a New Science, The Power of Positive Thinking, Norman Vincent Peale, the classic. The Referral Engine, Teaching Your Business to Market Itself. If you're into business, you're into marketing. Sounds like a good book, which uh, I love anything about business, marketing, personal development, uh, the mind, brain. Synchronicity, Synchronicity, The Bridge Between Mind and Matter. Synchronicity, The Bridge Between Matter and Mind. The Language of Letting Go, Melody Beatty. The Phenomenon of Man, The Art of Living, The Power of Serving Others. Subtitle is You Can Start Where You Are. Nurturing and Developing Creativity, The Emergence of a Discipline. We got The Unconscious God, Viktor Frankl. Deepak Chopra, The Path to Love. The Philosophy of Civilization, Albert Schweitzer. Ethics for New Millennium. Modern Persuasion Strategies, The Hidden Advantage in Selling. Think Like a Genius, I can use that. The Dark Side of the Light Chasers, great book by Debbie Ford. What God Wants, a compelling answer to humanity's biggest question, Neil Donald Walsh. He's the author of Conversations with God, which I still need to read. Uh, there's three books. I've heard things about uh, that series, so I wanted to check that out. The Large, the Small, and the Human Mind. Hey, discover your passion. We all need to know our passion, right? Why People Don't Heal and How They Can. Carolyn Miss, the author of Anatomy of the Spirit and Sacred Contracts. Compass of the Soul, 52 Ways Intuition Can Guide You to the Life of Your Dreams. The Celestine Prophecy, awesome book. Read this book right here. Celestine Prophecy, read it. Hey, read this book. The New Earth, see the stack right here? You want one? Click the link for the giveaway below. Get entered so I can send you one. The Call of Sedona, Journey of the Heart, A Brief History of Time, From the Big Bang to Black Holes, Stephen Hawking. Uh, another copy of The Art of Possibility, Discerning the Voice of God. We're gonna sell this. It was a good seller on Amazon, but they've filled out like every answer in here. And I didn't wanna go through and erase all of them. If you want this, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll work it out. Joyce Meyer, Battlefield of the Mind, The Knowledge Evolution, Expanding Organizational Intelligence. Hey, we got a copy of Sacred Contracts, which this will be going in the book giveaway because I already have a copy of that, a hardback. Hey, there we go. We got Anatomy of the Spirit. This will be going in the book giveaway because I already have a copy. Oh, another one. I haven't read this one, so I'll be reading this one first. Carolyn Miss, Defy Gravity. We got a textbook here. What is psychology? The essentials. Can't remember if I'm selling that. Keeping it. Just maybe I might keep it for myself to look through. Who knows? I never finished college. 
Thomas Friedman, The World is Flat, A Brief History of the 21st Century, Tom Hopkins, The Official Guide to Success, Awaken the Giant Within, great book, read this book. I have a few copies up here. Yeah, up here. So enter the book giveaway, look out for that. Uh, we got Super Achievers, we got Getting to Yes, the Bhagavad Gita, also known as the Gita. Heard good things about this from other spiritual teachers I've come across, like Eckhart Tolle, Deepak Chopra, and some others. There's been quite a few great men throughout history, spiritual teachers and alike, uh, that have recommended the Gita, like Henry David Thoreau, Ralph Waldo Emerson, uh, Gandhi. So uh, I look forward to reading through this, but it's it's a big book. That's along with I want to read you know read the Bible. I haven't I've never read the Bible, so I want to read the Bible. I want to read uh, this and uh, yeah, the whole in our gospel. Uh, we got oh like a, a a brand new copy of the Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Great book to read. Uh, some people say it's really hard to get into. Um, it it kind of was, but man, it was a it was a good book. And you've probably heard me talk about this in other videos of how I've come across how I came across my first copy of this book. But uh, so I'll let you go watch that without uh, repeating it here. But Ayn Rand, The Fountainhead. We got free prize inside. This was actually on my running book list to find Seth Godin. Anything by Seth Godin for business and leadership. Good choice to pick up. We got The Eighth Habit from Effectiveness to Greatness by Stephen Covey. Our Dreaming Mind. What else we got in here? Is that it? Oh, uh, we got Everyday Grace by Marianne Williamson. And I think that's it. Oh, uh, there's a, must have got a DVD. Looks like it's Dean Graziosi about uh, real estate. So yeah, do you want to read any of these books? Have you read any of these books? Please let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to reading your thoughts. And uh, if you haven't entered the, the book giveaway on New Life, New Dreams on Facebook, you can find the link in the description below. I might put it around here uh, on the video, but most likely it's going to be in the description below. So go there, get entered, share it with other readers, book lovers, personal development, seekers, anybody that loves reading, that wants free books, share it with them. And uh, I appreciate you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next What's in the Box Wednesday. Remember, stay awesome, stay thrifty, stay conscious, and start creating your new life and your dreams today.